Hey, friend Sean from Draft Therapy here, and this is a beer brief. If you're unfamiliar with what a beer brief is, a beer brief is just a more condensed version of my normal long form beer reviews. My normal ones go for like 10 minutes, and these I try to aim for about five. So today on the channel, I have Ribbit from Hot Butcher for the World out of Darien, Illinois. Hot Butcher has sent me a, a box full of beer, and in exchange for that beer, I am giving fair and honest reviews on their products. So today I have Ribbit. Ribbit is a Citra and Strata hopped milkshake double IPA brewed with strawberry, kiwi, lime, and vanilla. It is 7.5% alcohol by volume. I have not yet had a milkshake IPA from Hot Butcher. That's one of the few things I have, have not had from them. And uh, yeah, it just sounded really interesting and sounded like something I wanted to try. Just to mention, this was packaged on April 27th, 2021. It says this, Froggy Got Hops. It has a frog on the front, as you can tell. And he's uh, like a bullfrog. And on the back here, it has Hot Butcher for the World. It has this icon, which I'm not sure if this is like a collab but it's like a little dude with a mustache and a top hat with a pipe. And on all the hop butcher stuff that I've had, I love that they give you the tasting notes. It has a picture of a hop and it'll tell you, you know, kind of like what you should expect. It says kiwi, lime, strawberry, and creamy vanilla. You can find out more about them at hopbutcher.com and you can find all their social media and all that good stuff there too. So I'm going to grab an IPA glass. We're going to crack this, put a nose on it and see what see what it does so let's do that big crack out of that nose on the can it has a bit of a vanilla aroma to it it smells it smells like an ipa but it smells very much like a new england style ipa but it has a lot of vanilla notes on there has a sweet kind of strawberry aroma for my michigan viewers out there this smells a little bit like uh strawberry m43 just putting it out there tart strawberry m43 let's go ahead and pour this it's coming out pretty clear out of the can itself. We're going to pour a little bit more aggressively here to churn up some of that, some of that air, some of that gas, some of them bubbles. And you can see it's kind of rising up pretty quick. I do smell big time strawberry now, just like that little wave by my face. But yeah, I smell vanilla. I smell a strawberry. It does smell very much like tart strawberry M43 to me. If you've had one of those recently, you know what I'm talking about. We've got about three fingers of head here. Nice, creamy, white head. It has really nice compact bubbles. It's a little bit off-white. I can't tell if that's necessarily the way that the light's hitting it, but it looks just a bit off-white holding it up to the light. You can see it's got a nice orange kind of coloration to it right here on the top of the glass on the bottom on these IPA glasses. I've talked about this before, but they kind of thin out. It gets a little bit of a thinner uh, orange, but it's a real nice deep orange. Lots of carbonation rising up from the bottom of this glass. Let's put a nose on the glass. Sometimes you get different smells from the can to the glass, but yeah, big time strawberry. I mean, I'm just smelling overwhelmingly really strong strawberry aromas, a little bit of vanilla. I want to say there's even, there is a, a tiny tangy kind of limey smell in there. So let's go ahead and give this one a, give this one a taste, shall we? Cheers. We always talk about the mouthfeel first. The mouthfeel, super creamy super um, soft, has a nice pillowy mouthfeel, what you would expect from a milkshake style IPA like this. Oh, as I'm getting towards the bottom, it's getting a little bit darker. It looked like it got a little bit darker to me, but let's talk about the taste now, the flavors. What I am getting out of this beer, very strong, very, very strong strawberry flavor, uh, very strong vanilla flavor. So it's very strong in that, in that strawberry up front. There's this little tinge of an um, orangey, citrusy kind of flavor that pops through, that pokes through just a little bit. Well, it's actually the second strongest flavor. So up front, big bursting strawberry flavor, super in your face strawberry, but still a, a pleasing strawberry. It's not like a, I don't find it to be like, you know, a, a strawberry that turns, it's not so strong that it turns me off. Um, then there's that citrus note that comes through this vanilla flavor mixes in really well throughout the thing. So you, so you get that strawberry up front strawberries on their own aren't always necessarily sweet, but I feel like that vanilla that's in here really pushes up the sweetness. It kind of amplifies it quite a bit. Then there's this vanilla note and on the swallow, there's a very slight, but very smooth 
uh, bitterness that comes through. It's a citrus bitterness. And you do get this nice limey kind of tangy, um, you know, tangy kind of citrus flavor on the back end on that finishing note. So the flavor that you're left with is that tangy, you know, a little, a little bit tart, not too tart, not like over, again, I've, I've been saying overpowering, but not super tart. It's just tart enough. It's just a nice touch of lime. So it's like strawberry, vanilla, orange kind of rotate, rotates in there, that citrus orange flavor. And then on the tail end, it rolls back through with this limey kind of tartness, a little bit of a tanginess to it. Does not taste like 7.5% at all. This is super dangerous as it's just even warmed this little bit from being in this glass, the strawberry has even amplified more. So it's it's almost pushing this even stronger strawberry flavor. So that has been Ribbit, a Citra and Strata Hopped Milkshake Double IPA brewed with strawberry, kiwi, lime, and vanilla. Let me think, kiwi? Maybe there is a tiny, that sweetness that comes through is vanilla and kiwi. I could, I could see kiwi in there. And uh, alcohol, 7.5% alcohol by volume. This is from Hot Butcher for the World. It has tasting notes of kiwi lime, strawberry, and creamy vanilla. Definitely tasting all that in there. The, the kiwi lime is the, the kiwi is the part that as it warms, I think I'm picking up a little bit more on the kiwi. And this was canned on 427 2021. So thanks again to Hot Butcher for sending this over to me. They did send this to me for free for exchange in exchange for a fair and honest review. And I feel like I've been fair and honest. This is a really top notch milkshake style IPA, probably one of the better ones that I've had and probably one of the better double New England style IPAs that I've had this year. That's it for now. I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are in Darien, Illinois. And until next time, most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.